Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to read and write Hindi. And we are also here because we want to read and write, we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both. Today is our day number four. In the first three days, we learned some letters. They are listed right here day one, day two, and day three. We learned about 18 letters. And today we're going to learn four more. We're going to learn four more, and then tomorrow, on day number five, we're going to learn the second matra. We learned Aki matra in the first four days. Tomorrow, we're going to learn Iki matra. And then, of course, things will get more interesting. We're going to be able, we'll be able to write words that are a little bit more interesting. These are still babyish words. So, there are four letters we have to learn today. Let's begin, shall we? They are already listed on the blackboard. First, we're going to learn these two, Sin and Sheen. Let's put them here. Without the dot, if it, if, it, if it has no dot, as opposed to this guy, as opposed to this guy which has three dots. Without the dot, this is called seen. And this is the Hindi letter, so. Hindi letter, so. Sheen with the three dots. It's called Sheen, and that's the Hindi letter, Shu. So again, for those people who are here to learn to read and write Hindi, let's slow down and make sure we understand this thing right here. As you can see, this joins. It joins, that's the first difference. And the second difference is that this just goes like this, and the other one has to go like this. That's your Sheen. And it has additional line next to it. That's a show. The whole thing is show. This is not Aki Matra. That itself is show. And this is so. Like this. But it does not join. This guy does not join. This guy joins, you see? There is, it does not join. It's just a line. Keep that in mind. Don't make that mistake. So let's begin. Our first word is B, Re. We learn the B, we learn the Re. This is all repetition. B and we learned the re on the very first day. Ro, boros, boro, and then seen what we're learning right now. Seen and then na. Barasna. When seen, right here is a scene there. When seen joins something, it loses all of this. It loses all of this. So if you want to join seen with an alif, you will simply make two of these. Whether they are of equal size or they are a little bit off, like mine word, it's not a big thing. You make two of those circles, and then if it joins Aleph, then you're going to make one more and make an Aleph. That's a Sa. This is Sa. This is a union of Sin and Aleph. So, this is B, R, B, and this is Sa. This, is, this thing is Sa right here. And this part right there that you see there, this, this part here, is the na part. Barasna. Ba, ra, su, na. Barasna, as in act of raining. Barasna is the act of raining. The rain itself is called barsat. This is the act of raining. The rain itself is called bar. Again, let me do it one more time. It just, uh, I don't like the way it came out. Bur, sa. Bur, sa, ta. Bursa. Bursa is in rain. Rain and the act of rain. Bursna. Bur, r, sa, ta. Bursa. Rain. Bursa. Barish. Let's do one more. Sina leaf sa, sina leaf sa, and then te. Sa, sa as in seven. Seven. There's another one. Sina leaf sa, and then lam. But you have to know ahead of time 
Walter, what letter is going to come next? I'm about to join Lam, Le, with Noon, N, with Noon. We learned the Noon right there on the second day. But the way I wrote it is no good because Noon, if I were to write Noon now, it's going to go like this. I suppose it's okay. I suppose it's okay. But sometimes you will see it like this. It will not go all the way down. The Lam will not go all the way down and it will go like this. That looks much better. So that's your La. This part right here, or rather, Lam, Le. Le. This is Sa. This is Le. And this part right here, this whole part is No. Salam. Sa. Le. No. Salam. You know what Salam is? We eat it all the time. You and I both. And what I mean by you and I both is that we, of course, have salon in Pakistan and you have salon in India. It's just curry. I think I need to erase these two parts because it's occupying a lot of room. Let's continue. Sina lives sa. And then we have meme. But notice how the meme goes. It's about to join something. It's not a whole meme. Whole meme will go from the top like this. But when it's about to join, it goes upon the bottom and starts right there. And whatever comes next is going to join. If it joins Aleph, it's going to look like this. If it joins Noon, it's going to look like this. If it joins Dal, it's going to look like this. It depends on what it's about to join. But when it's about to join the next letter, it goes from the bottom. Sa, Ma, Na. Samna. Samna is interface something. There's the next one. Sa, na. This is pe, and this is noon alif na. This part here is noon alif na. Sapna. Sapna is in dream. Sapna. Sapna. As, as you call it in India. In Urdu, we say khwab. Khwab, sapna. I had a khwab, I had a sapna. Let's do the next one. Sa, na. Sa, na. Sa, na. So this time we have sha. Sha. This is a sha. Remember, this, this part up to here is sha. Then we have to put a ki matra. So it takes a second line. That's a sha. Sha, ma. You see, mim came by itself, so it started from the top. Because I knew it was not going to join anything, because I knew what I was going to do, right? It was about to end. Sham, that's it. Evening. Sham. Sha, ma. Sham. Evening. Let's do the next one. Alif mat a, and I hope you remember that mat part from the from the lesson number one. This this symbol is called this symbol is called mud. It goes only on alif and no other letter. It turns alif into it a. Ah. It turns a uh into a. Ah. This is aki matra for alif because alif itself is a straight line. So we don't put another straight line. We put the symbol on top of it. It becomes a. Ah. What was I going to write? There we go. A ah, and then. Sha, Asha, A, Sha. Notice the two line. The first one is the part of the show. Asha, Asha is what we call in Urdu. Is what we call in Pakistan. Umid, Umid hai. Umid means hope, expectation, desire. Asha. Let's do the next one. I think enough of this. I'm going to erase this thing. It's annoying me. It's taking too much time. Uh, it's taking too much space. Here's the next one. This. This is sh. This is re. That makes the re sound. Shur. Shur. This is be. Shur. Bo. And then te. Sherbet. Let's write it freehand. Shur. But. Notice how the dots came out. Sometimes that happens. Not everybody slows down to put a separate dot. That it takes too long. 
Similarly, these three dots actually did slow down on purpose to make sure they came out as that. But if you're not if you're not slowing down, most people in their free hand in the free hand, I can I can't do it by myself. I have to write the whole thing. It's going to come out like this. We just put it like that. And the reader understands that I was too dizzy to make three unique separate dots like these. It comes out like that. Sherbet. Sherbet. Sure. Ro. Bo. And to. Sherbet. You know what sherbet is? Sherbet is a syrup, something we drink. Sherbet. Let's do the next one. Show, ro, mo. Again, it has no matra, just three letters. Sharam. Show, ro, mo. Sharam. Sharam is in. Sharam is in shame. Is in shame. There's two one more. Where's the next one? Show, and then ko. Oh, it happened again, you see? Show and then ko. Shuck. What's the shuck? Shuck is a doubt. Aapko shuck ho hai mujh pe. You are doubting me. Shuck. Doubt. Here's the next one. Sha and then noon. Shan. Shan is in splendor, dignity. Bohot shan aagi hai. There's one more. Here, see what you can do. So, it's not a sho, it doesn't have a da. Sho, bo, and bo. But notice how the, set, the middle bar is more and the large one, last one is large. Because I knew it was going to be a large one, and that's how we write it. We're not going to write two small ones, the last one is going to be large. So, bo, bo. So, bo, bo. Sabab. Sabab is an Urdu word. Is what you call in Hindi. Oh, sorry, Sabab is a Hindi word. Is what we call in Urdu, Vajah. Kya Vajah hai? Kya Vajah hai? Kya Vajah thi? Kya apne hai kal? Kya Sabab tha? What was the reason? What was the cause? Sabab. Just one more. Again, the next one is again, it's going to be a word with three simple, with just three letters with no matra. Just like this one, it has no matra. It's just so, bo, and bo. Here's the next one. So, bo, and ze. Zo. Subs. So, bo, and zo. Sub, subs is a, is a color. Sub, sub, subs is color. It's, it's a green color. Green is called subs. Let's see if you can write, read the next one by yourself. So, and now we're going to write la, which makes a la sound. Then we're going to put alif, they're going to be together. This alif serves as aki matra. So this is your la. This is a so. So, so, la, mo. Question is how we, how do we put them together? Let's first write it in Hindi. This looks awkward. So, la, mo, salam. When you put it together, it looks like this. So, and then the lam starts here, and this alif which is the Aki Matra for, l for Lam, for L, it goes and joins in the tummy. It jumps in the tummy. It goes and jumps in his tummy. And becomes like this. So, La, and then Mo. Salam. Salam is in salutation. Let's do one more. Re, Sheen, and then Kaf. 
Ro, Sho, and Ko. Rocks. Rushko. Rushko. Ro, Sho, and Ko. Rushko. Which means envy. If you're jealous, jealousy, if you're envious, it's called Rushko. I'm sure you, well, I shouldn't say I'm sure, but you probably have heard of the Kawali by Surat Fatah Ali Khan where he talks about my rashke kamar teri pehli nazar 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 se milai maza a gaya in that case the kamar that he's talking about this one is ka ma ra we have not learned this letter yet this is ka this is ma and this is ra he's not talking about this kamar with the kaf with the kaf it's just a waist or that you measure around uh, when you're getting too fat that's this comer with the calf. When you use this k, which we have not learned yet, I'm jumping ahead of ourselves. This comer means moon. Moon. So when he talks about mere rashke kamar, mere rashke kamar, teli peheri nazar, teli teri peheli nazar, because usually moon, people associate moon with the object of beauty. Nobody looks up in the sky and says, what a beautiful sun. First of all, you can't even look at the sun. But if it's a full, uh, full moon night, you look at the sky and say, oh, how pretty, how beautiful the moon looks. Moon is supposed to be an object of beauty. And what he's saying in this song, in this Kawali, is that uh, my lover is so beautiful that even the moon, even the moon envies her. Even the moon is envious of her beauty. That's what he's talking about. Mere Rashke Kamar. Let's continue. I don't know how I went to this thing. That was a strange digression. Let's learn the next two letters. The next two letters you see here, these two. But these two letters, before we talk about these two letters, I want to talk about four letters. They come in sequence. They come one after the other. Here's, here are the letters. And instead of writing from this way and that way, we're gonna, I'm going to write it the way it appears. It's supposed to be written in Urdu. So we have Jim, because we in Urdu we left from right left to right. Jim, Che, He, and K. This one we have already learned. Jim, we have already learned on day number two, number ten, right there. We learned it on day number two. This is called Jim. And this is your letter J. So we're not going to worry about it. We already learned it. Jim. The next one is called Che. And that's your letter Ch. This one is called He. And that's your letter H. And this one, again, I think we believe we learned it. Maybe not. This is called, I know we used it before, this is called K. And this is your letter K. Except, pay attention here, okay? Except, when you're writing, when you write something which you know takes this K and, and not the other K, which I'll come in a second, you take this dot and this dot is put at the bottom here. Because in Hindi, this letter does not exist in Hindi. So they improvise. They write the ka, which is a, which is basically ka plus he. And I know for the people who are here to learn Urdu, I know we have not learned this letter here. But those of you who can read and write Urdu, you know this is called do chashmi he, something we have not le learned yet. But when we put ka and a he together, it makes a ka sound. For which in Hindi, they do have a unique letter. We do not. In Urdu, we do not have a, curl, a, a, a letter that makes the sound a curl. So what do we do? We put kaf and her together. Just like you would do in English. If you want to write ka in, in English, you'll put a K and an H. It's just like that. So this is your ka. And if you mean this ka for which English, for which Hindi language does have a unique letter, and that letter is this one, ka without the dot. But if you see the dot, then you know that the person is talking about this curve. 
You understand? So there are the four letters. One more time. Jim, which is your job. Jim, che, he, he. Jim, che, he, he. See, the sound is different. K and k. The, the, the different sound. K and k. K. It has a more throttle, uh, more grottle sound here. It's an Arabic sound. It doesn't exist in Hindi. So now we have our four letters. What we can do now are to put together some words, as we always do. So for the first few words, I'm going to leave them on the blackboard so we can compare. Here's the first one. So, which is seen. Now when we learn Jim, we learn that Jim, one more time, I'm going to do it again one more time, Jim looks like this. When it joins the Aleph, what happens? Here's what happens. So here's your Jim. When it joins the Aleph, it joins the Aleph like this, and all of the bottom part disappears. All of the bottom part disappears. It looks like this. So when, it, when Jim is about to join something, you just write that. That's your Jim. So we are about to root, we are about to join scene with Jim. So Joe and then Aleph. So so far we have something that reads as Saja and then Na, Sajana. Sajana is in to decorate something. Sajana. Except except when you're writing freehand, what we have written on the blackboard is not wrong. It's perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with it. But that looks like what we have written on the blackboard looks like a writing of a five-year-old. An adult, when, when somebody, he or she is writing freehand, this is, how, this is how it's going to join. You take your sir and the jaw looks like this. So that you don't have to lift your hand. Here we have to lift our hands. You see sir and then we have to do like this. So it goes like this. Sir and then jaw and alif. Sajana. Sajana is in to decorate. Just write it properly. So, ja, na. To decorate. So, ja, na. Sajana. Here's the next one. So, jo. No. This 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 word happens to have this word happens to have no matra, none whatsoever. Excuse me. Just three letters sitting next to each other with no matras. Sajan. Again, this is how an adult handwriting will look like. So Jo, no. You see the difference? They're both the same. This one is not incorrect. There is nothing wrong with it. But this is how most of the time people write it. Sajan. What's a Sajan? Oh, Sajan is your lover. Sajan. So, Jo, no. Sajan. Let's do one more. I think I'm going to erase the top part now. We have, or well, maybe not. Maybe we need it. Let's do the next one. Here's the next one. B, B, Ch, and T. B, Ch, and T. B, Ch, T. Bachat. B, Ch, T. Hindi is very straightforward. You don't have to worry about how to join the letters because the letters don't join. They just sit next to each other. We're going to rewrite this thing. A little bit like a grown up person. Bachat. B, Ch, T. Bacha. Do you understand? Let's do the next one. I think we better raise the thing. It's taking too much room and I have to stop after every single word. I have to stop after every single word. Not only that, but then you can't make a comparison. Here's the next word. It has four letters. Again, just four letters and no matra whatsoever. Our job is to combine the four letters together and figure out how to how we're gonna do that. We have a bay. So we have B, then we have a Ch, so we have a Ch, then we have a P, 
So we have a per, and then we have a noon. So we have a no. One more time. B, C, P, noon. B, C, P, noon. Those are the names. We have to put them together. We already put them together in Hindi because there is nothing to put together. We just write them next to each other. B, C, P, no. Bachpan. Bachpan is in childhood. Let's see how we're going to put them together. So here is our B. Here is a Ch. Here is the P. And here is a No. It's going to take a lot of dots. It's going to take about eight dots. B, Ch, P, and No. Bachpan. Childhood. Here's the next one. Ka na. Now pay very close attention, okay? What I'm about to say. Kana. Kana is in food. As I said, pay attention, very close attention. What I'm trying to say, what I wanted to write was kana is in food. Kana. Kana khata jo wo kana. If I meant that word, if I meant kana then neither of these two spellings that I have written on the blackboard. The Hindi spelling is wrong and so is the Urdu spelling. Why is the Hindi spelling wrong? Because if I meant to write it like this, with the Kha, with this Kha, which is this Kha right here, we erased it right here, this K, if I meant to use that letter, then it should have had a dot underneath it. It didn't. So if, if I meant that, then it would have been wrong. But that's not what I meant. It is not the Hindi spelling that is wrong, it is the Urdu spelling that is wrong. That's not, a, that's, not, that's not the right spelling. Here, because it has no dot, because the ka is no dot, this ka actually represent, is a representation of k, or rather kaf plus a he, which is ka. And instead of looking like this, it should have been written like this, ka, ka, na. Khana. Not that khana. Khana is in food. Khana khana. I want to eat. Khana khalia. Did you eat already? Have you eaten already? Sakh. Oh, I gave it away. I read it already. So this is made up of seen, khe, and te. So, ko and this, since we're talking about this k, it needs a dot and a t. Sakht, sakht as in strict. And again, instead of writing like this, the baby version would have been the baby version would have been this. So, ko and to. And as I, as I said before. There is nothing wrong with either one of them. They are both perfectly fine. This looks a little bit more. This looks a little bit more grown up. Let's do the next one. O Cha Ro A char. Let's see how do we write it in Urdu. A lift will make a a sound. This is our che that makes a cha sound. Join the alif to it, achar, and then re, achar. And you know what achar is. We all know what achar is. It's something which you eat with your food. Well, that helps a lot, doesn't it? I'm here for the help. Because I don't know how the bloody hell to explain achar. It's just some yummy thing that you eat. I looked it up in the dictionary. That's what it said. Here's the next word. Sakha. This is seen. This is K and Alif. Sakha. So technically, if you want to write it slowly, it should have, it, 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 it should have looked like this. So and Ka. Except it's not going to look like this when you're writing. It's going to look like this. So that you don't have to lift your hand. Sakha. And then wow which is a verb. So, so far we have so, ka, and again we use, since we're using this ka, it has to have a dot, 
Saka and then wo Saka wo and then te Sakawat. And you know what Sakawat is? Sakawat means uh, charity. Here's the next one. Bo, kho, and then show. And we know because it has a da, we're looking for this, this k, and that's a be, and that's a sheen. So this time we have written in Urdu, except we're going the wrong order. We cannot read from here. We have to put them in the right order. So here's your be, and then the k, and then the sheen. Box again. B, K, and Sheen. Again, in real life, people don't take that much time. They don't slow down to put it in each individual dot. When you're writing freehand, that's how it comes out. I didn't mean to write it like this, but that's how it comes out. I'm going to do it one more time. It's supposed to be three dots, but they don't. Nobody slows down to write three dots nicely like this because it takes too long. So the three dots come across like this. And the reader understands that I just put three dots on it. That's what this is. Bakhasha Baksh. Baksh means to forgive. To forgive. Here's another word. Here's another word. Again, very simple word with no matra whatsoever, only two letters. Can't get any simpler than that. So and cho. This thing is made up of so and then che. But it's not going to look like that in writing. In writing it's going to look like this. This is seen plus che. Such. Such. Such as in truth. Just do one more. And then this is this is ya. This is ka. Ka, or rather at the bottom, ka. This is your ya. But it's not going to stay the ya. It joins the alif. It becomes a ya. This is the aki matra. So this is ya. Ka ya. And then lam. Khayal. Khayal. Ka ya. No. Khayal. Khayal is in thinking. Kya khayal aapka? What do you think? Let's do one more. Na. That's what very simple. Na. And then cho. And then na. Na. Cho. Na. Na. Cho. Na. Nachna. Nachna is in dancing. Next one. Cha, and then we have a lam and an alif. How do we combine lam and alif? And then kaf. Cha la ka. Cha la ka. Cha la ka. Cha la ka. How do we combine lam and alif? This alif goes and jumps in the tummy. It's going to jump in the tummy. Cha la ka. That's it. That's how we write it. Chalak. Next one is a tricky one. Next one is a tricky one in terms of knowing how to join everything. So here I'm going to first write down letter. Ch, Ch, Meem, Ch, and an Alif. And as you can see, this Alif belongs to this Ch because it serves with Aki Matra. So we know this is a Cha. This is a meme, we know this is a mo. And this is the cho. So now we have to write, we have to read this way. Cho, mo, cha, chum cha. Cho, mo, cha, chum cha. Chum cha is in a spoon. But the question is, 
How do we combine it? How do we combine, not, other, not it rather, how do we combine them, these letters? This is how it goes, okay? First I'm going to write it as a baby, as a child. Cho, and then mo, and then cha. A school child, when he or she writes like this, the teacher will say, fine, you did a good job, perfectly fine. Now we're going to write it a little bit differently, without lifting, lifting our hand. Cho, mo, cha. Chamcha. Chamcha is in a spoon. Let's do the next one. The next one we have is, it's actually quite simple. Cha. Cha. Do. And then re. Chadar. And you know what chadar is. Chadar is a, is a sheet. The next one is also very simple. Cha. Cha. Cha cha. Cha cha is in your uncle. Chacha, your paternal uncle. Maternal uncle would be mama or mamu. This is chacha, as in chachu. Let's do one more. Another simple one. Cha and then re. Char. Cha. Char. Char as in four. And I have one last one left and I'm running out of room. Let's put it right underneath here. Where can we put it? Let's put it here. Cha and then wa, that makes a word sound, cha, wo, and then la. Chawal. Cha, wo, lo. Chawal. And you know what chawal is? You and I, we both eat it every day. Chawal is rice. We're going to stop right here. We'll meet tomorrow. And tomorrow, we'll start our second matra. And as I said in the beginning of the lesson, after having learned the second matra, we'll be able to write words that are a little bit more grown up. We're going to learn iki matra tomorrow, and then after iki matra, we're going to learn oki matra, and then uki matra. And things will become more interesting. So tomorrow I'll join, I'll join you. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll start iki matra. I'll see you then, okay? Bye now.